Hey Beatles fans, what's going on? Uh, time to do a Beatles update video. I'm going to go through a stack of Beatles stuff that I purchased recently. I bought some more Beatles stuff uh, since uh, the posting of my last Beatles update video. Here's a stack that I'm going to go through. So I hope you enjoy this update. And let's begin. I'm going to start off with a, a Blu-ray release. Uh, this is a new release here. This is a uh, the Beatles One Plus Deluxe Edition, two Blu-rays and one audio CD. Back of it. There's a package in here, nice book here. And uh, here's a two Blu-ray disc. And uh, the audio CD, which is uh, the remixed one album. And that's the, the Blu-ray disc that I'm going to show for this update video. Now on to the vinyl records. I have a couple of George Harrison records to show you. The first of the George Harrison albums I have is 33 and a third. His first album on the Dark Horse label. And this is a UK pressing. As you can see, the, the, ty the, the artist and the title here, it's not embossed with silver lettering. You know, like when, when when you shine a light on the on the the, um, the album title and the and the, the artist name, uh, it shines, but it doesn't do it on this copy. So this is not a silver embossed copy like the U.S. pressings. But um, this is really nice. We fold. Show the vinyl real quick. Inner sleeve here. All right, I have another George album to show you, and it's actually a promo interview album. Uh, this one I received in the mail yesterday. I've been wanting this promo LP for a long time, but but um, I I held off on it until recently, and um, I found this for a, a nice price on the internet. This is a, a George Harrison interview album. Dark Horse Records presents a personal music dialogue with George Harrison at 33 and a third. And this is a really nice interview. Now this is a, a promo record for radio stations. Here's the track list in here. Side, side one right there. This is an interview. This is an interview uh, promoting uh, George Harrison's 33 and a third album. And uh, like it is a nice interview. Uh, the they uh, George talks about the album Thirty Three and a Third. Um, he discusses the the My Sweet Lord lawsuit, which was going on, and um, there was only one Beatles question asked at the very end of the album. And uh, the the guy doing the interview, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Mike Harrison, who's a radio and records editor, right here. Uh, he's the one who conducted this entire interview. He asked George questions about the album and about the My Sweet Lord lawsuit. And he asked him one question, which uh, irritated him and the other three. Um, at the time this was released, all four of the Beatles were still alive. The The question was, when will the Beatles ever, ever reunite? And it said, uh, George said, well, it's actually going to be on, uh, and then the record ends right there. So... Sadly, the reunion will never happen, but, um, you know, it is what it is, so, but, um, uh, if you see this interview album, it's really nice, I, if you see it for a good price, I, I suggest you pick it up, if you're a hardcore Beatles collector like I am, so, all right, that's the George Harrison albums I'm going to show you, the rest will be all Beatles, the first of the Beatles records I have is something new. This is a German pressing. German first pressing, actually. Not in the greatest condition, but um, it is in fine shape. And uh, here's a record here. Come on. 
There we go. All right. And uh, this is a first pressing. This is a first pressing uh, with uh, the this uh, white Odeon label, white, red, and gold Odeon label. And this pressing, this German pressing, um, uh, this does have the um, the version of "And I Love Her" with the extended bar bars at the end of the song. Or there's like um, one bar, one extra bar at the end of the song. Uh, it goes on a little longer. Uh, played through that record, it sounds really good. Um, this one, as usual, it's a UK Beatles upgrade here. This is Help in mono. Record here. Alright, uh, uh, I have a, a Japanese Beatles release to show you, and it is a box set. A couple weeks ago, I went to my home state of Ohio for a funeral. Uh, my, my uncle sadly passed away from a heart attack. We attended his funeral. Now, when I was in Ohio, I stopped by my favorite record store, and I found this. And um, <clears throat> uh, when I saw this, I thought it was going to be like 150 bucks, but uh, the... The, rec the, the record was actually way less than that. I paid half that, less, less than half that price. Next Beatles find here is the Beatles story. This is a Japanese first person. This is uh, the box here. It has two LPs and it has a book. This is record one right here. And here's the original inner sleeve here, the Japanese inner sleeve. Here's the record. This is a red vinyl, dark red vinyl. Uh, this record was doesn't look like it was played, but it does have some spindle. It does have like a spindle marker too. I've only cleaned up. I only cleaned this record uh, after I purchased it. Um, I've I've not actually played it. This record away here. And uh, let me show record two. Here's record two. Same thing with record one. This one's in uh, near mint shape. Only one spindle mark. And uh, I'm going to show you the book. This has a nice booklet. There's a book here. I'm not going to uh, go through. I'm going to go through as much as, as uh, much of the book as possible it has a uh, it has uh, the the um the booklet has uh, some nice some pictures some nice pictures of the beatles and it also has uh, the entire transcript of the the entire documentary album uh, this is a autobiographical album of the beatles that was assembled by capitol records in the the early 60s And let me put this away here. And um, I have a few more records to show you. Uh, 
Uh, this next record just came in. The, this this next record arrived in the mail today. Uh, this is a bootleg album. Uh, this is a uh, outtakes with the Beatles. It's on uh, Swingin' Dog Records, but um, this album, it, the jacket is a replica of the original Australian album of, of With the Beatles that was uh, pressed in the early 60s. And here are the songs on here. It has outtakes of songs such as One, One After 909, This Boy. It has a demo, John Lennon demo of uh, the song I'm In Love, which the Beatles never recorded. It has uh, outtakes of... Uh, it won't be long and please Mr. Postman and it has outtakes of hold me tight and don't bother me and um, uh, this is a, a stereo record it's really nice let me show you the record And I'm gonna conclude with a couple of the I'm gonna conclude with a couple copies of the of uh, the UK mono first pressing of the Beatles White album. That's my number there. There's a poster does have the original poster but the the poster is not in a great shape but I might have multiple copies of the poster anyway here's the record here UK mono first press and and uh, it's a top loader as well okay quickly show you one more white album and then I'm going to wrap up the video. Here it is. This one's a little lower than the previous copy I showed you. Uh, this one is 008900. Well, hold on. 0089809. The other one I, I just showed you right here, it's 0093837. And this one only has the vinyl records. It doesn't have the poster or the four pictures. UK model first pressing. All right. That wraps up the Beatles vinyl update video. I hope you enjoy this update. And um, uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, uh, I, I said this many times that I plan on doing uh, Beetle Vinyl Collection videos. Uh, I'm not going to do a complete vinyl collection video because it's going to take all day. So I'm going to show like certain pressings of a Beatles, of, of Beatles albums. Like I'll show like a, the UK pressings, the UK mono pressings, or the UK stereo, or the Japanese albums, or even the US albums. So stay tuned for that video. Stay tuned for those videos. I'm also going to have solo Beatles related ones as well. I hope you enjoy this update video. Talk to you all later.